Will, just kind of your, your initial reaction to this uh, standard? Obviously, super fired up, just, you know, kind of, I think for all of us, I can speak for our whole team, just give us a time and place and, uh, you know, we'll be ready to rock. I think we're really starting to play our best baseball and uh, we couldn't be more excited. I mean, I guess I'd, I'd say I'm surprised just because it's somewhere different. You know, it's, it's far away. I've never been I've never been to Stanford. So, uh, yeah, I guess surprised in that sense, but uh, just super excited, really. With, with what the uh, pitching staff was able to do during uh, the SEC tournament, how much do you feel like that is y'all peaking at the right time and carrying over? Or, or, or what do you think about the pitching staff's momentum moving into? I think we're building a lot of momentum. I think we're starting to play our best baseball um, as a team as well as a pitching staff. Uh, I think we're really starting to do a good job on that side of things. Um, whereas we hadn't, you know, I don't think we were doing our best job on, on the front half of the season, as you guys know. So I think we are peaking at the right time. Really excited about it. What difference did you guys see in the pitching staff? I, I, did anything change? Did anything for you guys that maybe... Yeah, it's just contagious. You know, Troy went out and set the tone, and I thought that you know, he did a phenomenal job uh, at Mississippi State, and he carried that straight over into, into his start at, against Tennessee. And, you know, it was contagious. You saw what Justin was able to do, and then, uh, you know, I'm not going to let those guys one-up me. So, you know, it just really I – th I think Troy really set the tone. We're uh, – it's kind of funny because we all, all season we've been talking about, hey, we're going to play, we need to play our best baseball at the right time, we need to peak at the right time. And I think finally it's starting to really happen. And so for us to kind of see that come to fruition, like we're, we're really excited. Vibes are, vibes are up for sure. How do you think the experience from last year and all that you guys went through going so deep in the Golden Series, how will that help you guys? This time around, what lessons did you all take from that? I think it's helped us all year long just knowing that Having seen it before and, and knowing we can go that far, it's it's kind of a confidence thing. Saying, okay, look, we know we know what we're capable of doing. So, um, for me, that that carries a lot of confidence. I know it does with a lot of the other older guys. So, um, we're definitely gonna, you know, this this isn't our first rodeo for a lot of these older older guys. So we're gonna go attack it. To that end, did it help even more so that last year, even last year, it wasn't easy at times for you guys, and for you guys to still, you know, obviously be able to. I know you went on to get top five seed in that, but you know when you're going through tough times this year, you mentioned having to help you last year. Did it kind of help that, like, yeah? That can happen. And can for sure. I think it's something that Texas A&M baseball is going to hang its hat on for a long time, and that's just resiliency. Um, you know, I think we've taken punches all year, and, and you could even say we took some last year. And um, there's a core group of guys in this team that, that are that are very, extremely resilient. I think that's going to show up. Traveling as far as you are and being a, a two or two seed, <clears throat> uh, you confident that y'all's ability to kind of create your own energy, be uh, be big in a hostile crowd where you might not have as many uh, home fans there? Oh, I uh, I don't have any doubt in uh, our ability to be excited or bring bring the energy up there. Uh, you know, it's postseason baseball, so <clears throat> we'll definitely be excited. Anything else, Will? Good. Thank you. Thank you.